An earnest gentleman with facial hair and glasses at the back, an intent gaze upon his face. A hand immediately sprung upward. Yes, sir. What do I think of the didgeridoo? Didgeridoo is a magical instrument. Uh, I think in order to appreciate its power, one has to place it in its culture and look at the role it plays in the life of the people that use it. That's the longer answer. The short answer is, in the hands of Tony Levin, it's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> For those of you who own um, Vroom, the, uh, the calling card from Crimson, if you listen, you will hear a didgeridoo on the peace cage. Did you know that, sir? Ah, the gentleman, with or without facial hair, glasses and intent gaze, didn't know that small detail about King Crimson. <laughs> Is there anyone else, with or without facial... A lady, yes, madam. Do I have any pets? Uh, the quick answer is yes. Uh, a rabbit. A large white rabbit. Beaten Bunerius bun. Uh, the rabbit which preceded it was Cecil Raticus Roo. I'll explain if I may. My wife has always, since a small child, had a pet. A large white rabbit. Now, large white rabbits uh, die every four to seven years. And throughout my, my wife's life, she's had the same rabbit, but it moves from body to body. And <laughs> when, when I married my wife, in fact, I proposed to my wife in a week because I saw that this was my wife. We didn't actually know each other. So we had an arranged marriage. We arranged it between ourselves. And in the perception that, in fact, for me, this is my wife and my wife, well, this is my husband, although we didn't know each other, I proposed after a week. My wife accepted me and we married uh, shortly afterwards. But I knew fairly soon into our relationship, it was a given that love me, love my white rabbit. <laughs> So, we live, we live in a house in England. Uh, the deeds go back to 1599, modernised in 1699, <laughs> and extensively in the past 10 years. Modernisation does have to be done sooner than every 300 years. Uh, the first rabbit to celebrate the home of Cecil Beaton, the first rabbit was Cecil, but he was a bit of a rat. So, it was Cecil Raticus Roo. When I was in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, with King Crimson in the autumn of 1994, I phoned home and there was a message on the answer machine. I'm off to Shaftesbury, which is where the vet is. Bunny is going to pop his clogs. It was terrible. It was terrible. There was my wife with a beloved rabbit that its kidneys had broken down. And the poor little thing was incontinent. I wasn't there to hold her hand, or the rabbit. And she took this poor little rabbit to Shaftesbury, where it was, it, as they, they say, put to sleep. The first shot, the heart was so strong it wouldn't die. So they had to give it a second shot. This is my wife oh, with this little creature. And in England now, because of the, uh, the application of European Union laws on dead rabbits and pets, you can't take them home. You can't take them home with you. However, my wife, for anyone who knows Toya, is a force of nature. <laughs> and my wife took the little rabbit home. Nothing, neither heaven nor earth, would have prevented that happening. But the little thing was dying on the way home. Oh, it was... <sighs> so we buried it under a piece of sculpture in the garden, which is the hand of God. So there, this wonderful piece of um, garden art with a rainbow 
out of which comes the hand of God. And on the sides of the sculpture are the animals going into the ark. There in front lies Cecil Raticus Rue. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, in this bereft and empty home, came beaten Barnarius Bun. And he is such a spirited little character, he runs the house. And me, he dominates me. <laughs> he dominates me utterly. He, rep he recognizes in me another male and lets me know that I'm in his turf. He does this in ways which for house rabbits are unfortunate. The rabbit was featured in an article in OK Magazine at our home. He stole the show and recently the leading animal program on English television, the BBC, came to our home and spent a day filming Beaten. That's the long answer. The short answer is yes. yes.